How temperature affects rate of reaction. Here we have a container of particles moving around in random directions. For a reaction to take place, the particles must collide. These two particles are moving in different directions, so because they do not collide, a reaction cannot take place, even if they both have the activation energy. For a reaction to take place, we know the particles must collide. And we can see this has happened here with these two particles. However, they do not have enough energy. So this is not a successful collision. Neither of the particles have enough energy. For a successful collision, the activation energy is needed. This is the minimum amount of energy required for a reaction to take place. Now if these two particles collide and they both have the activation energy, as shown by the extra vibration lines, then a successful collision can take place. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. If we increase the temperature by heating up the substance, this transfers heat energy to the particles. What's happened is the same particles are storing more heat energy, so are now moving faster, as shown by the extra vibration lines. So the substance on the right has a higher temperature, and the substance on the left has a lower temperature, as the particles on the left are storing less heat energy so are moving slower, as shown by the fewer vibration lines. So in the substance on the right, which has a higher temperature, the particles have more energy, so move faster. We can see from the diagram how the particles have more energy, shown by the vibration lines, causing them to move faster, so they collide more frequently. So the higher energy stored causes the particles to move faster, causing them to collide more frequently. But not only this, the extra energy stored compared to previously now means there is a higher proportion of particles which have more energy than the activation energy. Previously, at a lower temperature, when there were collisions, particles may not have had the activation energy, so there would not have been a successful collision. But now at higher temperatures, because the particles store more energy, when the particles do collide, it's much more likely for a successful collision to take place, as there is a higher proportion of particles which have the activation energy. The higher frequency of collisions and the greater proportion of particles having the activation energy increases the chance of successful collisions. So the rate of reaction is increased. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com. For more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.